Are you the gentleman who actually designed the microphones? Uh, well, I, I designed the initial ones. Okay. I, I built them initially for testing the speakers. I see. Is that oh, where Earthworks came from? Well, so Earthworks is a company that uh, I set up in uh, 1979. Yes. When I was about to move to New Hampshire, and I had a bunch of construction equipment. I see. And I wanted a home for it in relation to Texas. I see. Oh, Earthworks. And That's where I, the earth comes from. And I, I bu had bought this building here. I know there's another yeah. company involved, but it's nothing to yeah. do with acoustics or anything. Is no, no, when it started, started yeah. as a, you know, I, I was involved. You right, know, sure. Uh, at that time, I was just, uh, I just sold DBX. Sure. And I knew I was going to, well, I, I actually officially moved to New Hampshire before I sold the company. Right. right. So originally it was, uh, in, and still is, last speakers, but you kind of started with the microphone thing. To well, see, what, the what happened to was I had built a microphone to measure. Okay. Uh, and we had a jazz pianist who my wife at that point uh, ran a restaurant. I see. We had uh, we had live performance. Sure. This, this guy, uh, this jazz pianist, came around. I showed him my microphone. And he listened to it. He said, "You got a product there." Right, right. Yeah. What do you mean? Which I got not, a product? Yeah, which is not. <laughs> which is that sounds better than anything else. Yeah. Said, what do you mean? I mean, all these big expensive microphones. The company's devoted to it. It can't be. Yeah, yeah. Well, he convinced me that there was a product there, so we started making them on a small scale. Sure. And it kept getting bigger and bigger. Right. Mm -hmm. And the, the funny thing is, you Sounds can like tell, my recording business. <laughs> you can tell all these people exactly what it is and why you're doing it, and they don't understand a bit. Right. They're still convinced the frequency response tells the whole thing. No, 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 no. no. So we, we had this discussion the other day. It's a minor, yeah. minor consideration. We, we make a microphone that's flat to 40 kilohertz. Yes, I know. I don't Bruin do Care makes another one that's flat to 40 kilohertz. I know. I know. And the frequency responses are almost lay on top, lay of, lay on top, top of each other. Right. They don't sound they don't at all alike. I know. They're, they're, not, they're not going to. They, right. And it's all because of the transient response. Yeah. You know, once you measure the response to a sharp pulse, you can tell immediately because what happens is that the human ear has some kind of receptor uh -huh. for sharp pulses and to interpret them uh -huh. to help us know where we are and help us understand what danger there might be. Or localize something. Uh, you localize something. things. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. It's a very important part of it. Yeah. Uh -huh. A lot of our localization happens because of the shape of this pinna. Yeah, right. Uh, if you cover one ear, yeah. if, there's, if there's any transient pulses, you can point to them. Sure. With one ear only. Yeah, that's because true. you know the pinna transform yeah. right. in your head. Right. You know the pinna transform from sharp impulse from any direction. You know, I, you know, even though my uh, regular hearing cuts off maybe 13 kilohertz, right. I don't lose that stuff. Yeah. And I, I, it, 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 I can tell the difference between a 20 kilohertz microphone yeah. and a 40 kilohertz Is microphone. Is it Yeah, we're doing a lot more microphones. We're, we're getting ready to do uh, a new version of digital audio. Okay. Doing it first for research. Okay, that's it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up something that's going to sample such that I've got a good frequency response beyond 100 kilohertz. I understand. And I'm going to find out what we need. Sure. And I'm going to try to trap those little parts of the waveform and look at them. Sure. And see what a digital system has to be. To do it. To give me back uh -huh. everything. I understand. Now, I, I uh, um, a little over a year ago, I recorded a uh, concert of um, Bach's Christmas Oratory right. where Eric was singing it. I understand. So I was doing the recording. Sure, I understand. Because he was singing. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> you, have, you have just one son, sir? Oh, no, no. Okay. I, I have ten children. <laughs> Most of them are grown up and on their own. But, I understand. Uh, well, where is Eric in the line? Uh, he's uh, number two. How many girls and boys? Even number. Five and five. Wow, five that's five amazing. That's incredible. That is amazing. That's absolutely awesome. I wonder why you're still working. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're out, all, all yeah, but one are out in their own Yeah, time. that's it, right. Again, one at home is, you know, 15 now. Mm -hmm. What is your educational background? Well, I went to Harvard, but I didn't stay. <laughs> <laughs> Not the reason. <laughs> I stayed about a year and a half. I tell him, I don't, I don't mind learning. I just hate the, the educational process. Yeah. Does that make any sense to you? It sure does. Because I, I was always very inquisitive. I hate education. I don't, don't not but, want to learn. Uh, there was too much stuff that didn't relate to what I needed. Yeah, sure. And they know that anything beyond 20 kilohertz is just trying yeah. to fool people. Right. With big numbers. can't be so. That's right. I understand. Uh, 
Yes, and in fact, I tell them it's. Yeah. I hear a difference. I say, yeah. Well, you can't. Yeah. And they won't hear it because they don't want to. That's right. Yep. Closed minded. But, but everybody else hears it. Yeah. I know. And it makes an enormous difference in the sound. But I want to find out how far it goes. But I'm recording this concert. I ha we had uh, 40 kilohertz microphones. I had on headphones supposed to be good 30 kilohertz. Mm -hmm. When I listened to the trumpet, with those on, I didn't hear the same thing when I took them off and listened to the trumpet right sure. in front of me. Right. It's kind of a golden glow about mm -hmm. that trumpet. Mm -hmm. Or about, oh, the violin, whatever. the vocalist, the flute. Yeah, whatever. Uh -huh. And they all have yeah. something that I couldn't even get right. in these 30 kilohertz headphones. Right, I see. And I'm just wondering, what, how far does it go? Now, I know the trumpet has an enormous amount of energy, right. up to 100 kilohertz. Yeah. As trumpet, it's a shock tube. That's so right. The shock wave gets started, and yeah. it gets steeper and steeper and steeper right. until it reaches the mouth. Then it's very steep, yeah. and then it starts making that mouth ring. Right, right. Which is why the metal, the quality of the metal, the way it's been worked, changes the timbre so of the instrument. Right. That's right. This particular trumpet was a beautifully made silver trumpet. Right. A system. You know, we had a system for measuring with sparks. Mm -hmm. It was kind of crude. I understand. And he's the one that made refined it, it. Made it so good. Right. That we can make a frequency response curve. Right. We take a few sparks through a microphone. I can put it in this computing system, and it comes out with a frequency response curve right. that reads out to 500 kilohertz. I understand. So, so wow. we know what the mic does. You know, like we have some lab mics, for I example, I know. I understand. that are very good to 150 kilohertz. That's amazing. We I didn't have know, I didn't the know exact there was a mic curve to do that. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. wonderful. It, uh, you know, it's very accurate. Right. It's, it's, it's a primary standard right. technique. How do you measure the low end on a microphone? I get an idea of kind of how you do the high end, but how do you do it? How do you? If it's omni, we measure it in a closed chamber, because okay. <clears throat> all we want is pressure response. I see. Cardioids are tough. I see. You got to do those out in the open. I see. Because it's uh, it only measures gradient. Uh huh. Uh, and it's, it's much tougher. I see. But uh, we we're lucky in that we have uh, measurement systems that we can time window. Uh huh. So you can only look. And look at a limited amount of time before the first reflection arrives. I see. I got you. And so, as long as the room's big enough mm -hmm. so that the uh, lowest frequency can be measured within that interval. Mm -hmm. Well, We're you said you went to the college, but you left. So, what'd you do after that? Worked for a recording studio. That's wonderful. And who no was better place to pick it up. No right? place, and no place yeah. better to pick it up. And who was that? Would I know who that was? I don't know. Okay. I don't think you'd know. Okay. It's a fellow named Charlie French. Okay. Who ran a uh, studio? Called Trance Radio okay, in yeah. Boston. In Boston, okay. Yeah, yeah. And Charlie was one of these fellows who was good at everything. He had uh, perfect pitch, reasonable knowledge of music, sure, and uh, a very strong drive for perfection. Right. And, uh, I can't imagine who I know sounds like that. <laughs> <laughs> but he, uh, he did a lot of stuff off of well. That's one. It was a wonderful place to learn. Sure. And I got a chance to to re rebuild all of his studio. But you know, I mentioned that experience I had uh -huh. of hearing something in the room right. that even an incredible set of microphones and speakers and headphones, and, and headphones but, that you couldn't, couldn't catch, catch. Right, whatever it was. Right. Now, when I brought them back and listened to them here, I got some of that sound. I understand. Not all. I understand. Well, you were probably listening for it more intently. Do you think? Uh, well, I was listening for it, well, because I was absolutely enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was just luxuriating yeah, this, right, this yeah, wonderful yeah. sound. Because, you know, here I was, you no, know, the orchestra was out on the floor mm -hmm. with a chorus masked behind them up, up. You know, so the orchestra but, wasn't in the usual no, stage. No, no, I said They weren't on the stage and, positions. Uh, and so, and where, where, I, where was that? Where was that? That was in Peterborough. Okay. Um, in, in the Maladnock, uh Symphony Orchestra or some group okay, like I it. Okay, I understand. Uh, right. There's several groups like it. Sure. We have, you know, a lot of music in this area. Peterborough is one of these, one of these very artistic Town. towns. Yeah. You know, it has a lot of stuff. Collects yeah. people mm. right. in, in the arts. Okay. That's um, in this state, I don't know. I mean, that's here? Okay. Yeah. In New Hampshire. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, no, it was just, you know, I was sitting yeah. 10 feet from the first violinist. Right. That's it. And he had a gorgeous instrument. Right. And the sound that came off the strings right. and off the bow. Yes. I mean, this fantastic. The harmonic sound. and overtone structure. Yeah, well, it, it's the impulse. Yeah, yeah. Impulse. impulse. Yes, I understand. Uh, have you got a recording that you have done 
that's uh, you think is very good? I mean, you've had a vast background. I don't mean back in the old old days. I mean, have you done any recording recently in the last? Well, week? you take anything with your microphones that you thought came out very well with well, some amateur group. Well, there have been a lot of these things have been done, but the funny thing about it, whenever I happen to get them here, somebody comes in and borrows it. <laughs> And guess what? I haven't got it anymore. I haven't got it anymore. Well, I had it. I don't know where it is now. That's funny. It did sound good, though. Yeah, it did sound as well as I remember. Oh, and uh, Eric has that recording. I don't even know where it is. Okay. Of the Box Christmas Art Okay. That's even though my uh, wife's on the board of the Mennonite Symphony, doesn't mean I can record yeah, anything I, I want. I know. I understand. <laughs>